I just got this awesome torque adapter. Turn any torque wrench into any wrench ratchet into a torque wrench. This thing is great. Uh, the directions say do not press the memory and power buttons at the same time. Otherwise it goes into calibration mode. Uh, there were some really good directions in here. Um, if you get one of these and lose the directions, like I will probably do, here they are. So you can just kind of pause it at any time you want and see the directions. But yeah, here's that important disclaimer. Do not press memory and this will enter into calibration mode. Please, <laughs> like how they say, please. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I was able to put my ratchet on here and it'll sock it. And yeah, there goes the directions. There we go. Oh, I got sand. And then I was able to crank this. Enough to loosey righty tighty. Yeah. Ooh, I got nine foot pounds. Did y'all see that? Yeah, nine foot pounds out of it. So yeah, cool. Uh, you can change it from. I had, to, I had to use the directions. Oh, that'd be cool if there was directions on there. So yeah, you don't use a torque wrench on there. It's a pretty good clear point. But uh, this is a new meters, and I thought I was kind of. That's a well, but yeah, you can change it from you can change it from newton meters to to foot pounds. Uh, not the select torque value. Power on, select unit, memory and peak, trace, and that allows you to change to. Oh, I never seen that before kilograms per meter wow 2.2 pounds per meter neat but yeah i'm gonna use the heck out of this for these rod <clears throat> these main bearings on this uh 60 series so yay i wonder if i should do anything to like keep it clean a little baggy keep the wool off all all right that's it for now ciao